Hey guys, Sutonia here. So I've been testing out the carrier ratting changes to fighters. Essentially, CCP has increased the aggro that they take from the AI. The AI will now aggro your fighters a lot more aggressively. And they've also increased the signature radius of the fighters from 40 meters, which is roughly the size of a frigate, to 100 meters, which is the, roughly the size of a smaller cruiser. Now there is a lot a lot better uh, hotkeys in the game now for fighters and I highly suggest you'll use, you, you use them. What you definitely want is uh, I think toggle ship, uh, ship selection. I've got this on a key that I use number zero. You'll, you'll probably want this just to make sure you don't accidentally orbit the, uh, the rock haven or anything. You don't want to break your align if you're aligning out if you were actually ratting in nullsec. I would also highly recommend you uh, you set an, your orbit command to a shortcut that you're happy with. I've got mine on the on the uh, key X. I think by default it's on the key S, but I use that for a different thing. But you'll be using the orbit key a lot now in these new uh, havens. Uh, I'm going to show you a rock haven here. I've got the rock haven down religiously to a point where I normally don't get any of my fighters above 50% damaged. You'll need to. You'll be using the orbit command a lot. Again, while while the uh, the the uh, deselect your ship thing is useful, you can just hit that key, and it'll once the, you don't see the blue align outside your ship, any commands that are given to your sh to, given to your fighters will not be given to your ship. You don't want to accidentally orbit and break your align in your ship, so it's very very important you get into the habit of turning that off. But also, I have uh, another hotkey for select all my fighters to make sure they're all selected before I, before I end up in the anomaly. So what you want to do when you when you land is you probably want to lock up this pirate gate here. You can launch your fighters when you're able to. Send them over. I I don't use the MWD ability here normally. There's enough time. You align out, I guess, to a safe POS or a citadel or, you know, some safe location if you're on Nullsec. It takes a while for the things to spawn, so you don't have to waste the micro-warp drive ability here. Now, this first wave is pretty easy. Nothing has really changed in this wave. You'll just want to alternate between killing the battlecruisers and the battleships. Here, what you just want to do is, uh, you know, use your missile ability and turret attacks on a battleship. And when your missile attack is on cooldown... You'll then one shot a battle cruiser with two turret attacks from the other one. By the time the battle cruiser is dead, your missile ability is back. Killing these guys shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I've never seen these this first wave be be aggressive towards fighters, so you put you shouldn't have any issue with them. I don't think uh, aggroing your fighters at all. So this this wave's kind of a warm up. Like I said before, you probably want to lock one, lock the pirate gate here, or just one of these uh, like asteroids. Pull it down to a different location. What you want to get into the habit of is commanding your fighters to orbit that after uh, you kill the final ship in the wave. The reason why you want to make sure you're always orbiting it. It's because after your ship h h kills something, it always drops to zero MS. The fighters always drop to zero MS as soon as you kill something. So you'll want to make sure that they're always moving. Like, after I put my turret attacks on this figure, what I'm doing is selecting this and clicking the orbit command. That way, uh, if, my, if the battleships do decide to shoot my fighters, they won't take as much damage. The battleships won't actually track your fighters as long as they're moving. You'll, you'll want to make sure you kill these frigates first. Because if they web your fighters, they, they will kill them very quick. The battleships will track them. So once you use all your abilities, just get into the habit of clicking the orbit command. They did take a bit of damage there. Again, once they, they die, make sure that you pre-orbit that, the uh, asteroid cluster. 
it's okay while you're locking something if you've got the turret attack on cooldown to you know put some just use that to kill them off and then make sure you start killing the frigates fast the frigates will aggro your fighters so make sure you kill them and I think some of them also web too so the, the frigates in the second wave tend to die a lot faster and they don't seem to be as aggressive but all the same, you should uh, be careful. Make sure you take care of them quickly. There's plenty of battleships to use your missile abilities on, so don't worry about losing too much DPS. Again, just get into the habit of pre-orbiting stuff. Most of the battleships tend to leave your fighters alone the first 30 seconds or so. But uh, after about 30 seconds, they do tend to uh, be super aggressive again. I'm making sure I'm orbiting this. In fact, I think you should do it on the pirate gate and not that one that I'm doing. Because otherwise your uh, fighters will move out the way. I think, actually, I'm fucking up a bit here. So you probably want to use the pirate gate for your... Uh, drag it down here as your, as your anchor. I lost quite a bit of DPS there. And I'm losing time, um, at that time, the frigates have been shooting one of my fighters, so. Make, make sure you have the pirate gate locked and not the, like, snake-shaped asteroid shit. Our fighters are pretty safe right now. It's like this one looks like they're both taking damage, but it's not too much. It's just a frigate that's aggressing them. You know, I was pretty sloppy there. Probably should have been orbiting a bit more. Once this guy, we want to make sure we're, we're orbiting when that guy dies. Which I think maybe there was a battleship I didn't lock in that wave. I'm terrible. Okay, make sure that make sure you always have them on pre-align, uh, on or I mean orbit on this pirate gate, because otherwise when the new wave spawns and if the battleships decide to go for your fighters, they will wreck them pretty quickly. In this wave, I highly recommend you kill the cruisers quickly. The cruisers do go for your fighters as well. You can mitigate some of their DPS through the orbit commands, but they, but they will be still be doing damage, so you, you want to kill them pretty quickly. Luckily, they die pretty fast. They die about as fast as most of the frigates in the wave. So you don't have to worry too much. My fight seems like my fire turret took about 9% damage from that wave. Again, I'm, I'm not doing things super efficiently. You know, it's on Sissy. But uh, this is, this is a, a pretty good, you know... Nothing's really gone above 40% in this uh, site. I think the highest we got to is like 30% odd. The the important thing is just make sure you uh, keep them orbiting. It's really important to make sure you're orbiting the pirate gate in this final wave. The reason why you want to do that. Is uh, when this final wave spawns, the battle cruisers are immediately going to go for your fighters, and you want to look the battle cruisers up as fast as possible. <laughs> I just fucked up there, pretty bad. Again, these battle cruisers are all gonna like instantly try to fuck my fighters. Want to make sure you you always lock and go for these as fast as possible. If your fighters aren't moving when they spawn, then you can very easily lose lose a fighter at this point. So make sure you have the pirate gate handy for orbiting. In fact, there's another battle cruiser I missed. Fuck me. So you know, even if you're as terrible as me at a uh, ratting, you can still keep them pretty safe. Looks like our worst one is twenty percent now. Once we once we're here, we're kind of in the clear. Just make sure you orbit the next battle, ba the next battleship in the wave before your one dies. So I'm now orbiting this one while this one's dying. 
as soon as I put all the turret attack abilities on this one, we're going to switch our orbit over to the next one. Uh, you might also want to go with an optimal range script, I find. Uh, with the uh, smaller or with the uh, orbit commands, you're not always orbiting the main target in uh, optimal. Sometimes you're in fall off, and I find uh, going for a uh, optimal range script in a um, directional really solves that problem. Again, you know, not be sloppy. Make sure you're orbiting the next battle cr battleship in the wave, so your fighters don't drop to zero mess and get fucked. Yeah, it looks like our fighters are fine so far. Again, next battleship in the wave. We're still aligned to our safe little place if some bad dude comes into local. So this battleship shooting my fighter right now, this little guy, but he's not taking damage from him. As long as, long as you uh, orbit to make sure, orbit the, the next target so that they don't drop to zero mess, you'll be fine. As you can see, they're at zero mess now because I didn't orbit another target because I was the last one in the wave. And that's what they'll do. Since fighters have almost perfect inertia, they'll drop down to zero mess in normally about one to two seconds. And, you know, when you when you have your uh, fighter ability, like red, so let's say you just, uh, let's just uh, alpha this, right? With this fighter right it's going to be on red cooldown for a while and you know if you're just pressing your fi your fighter attack on the next battleship it's very easy for them to be at zero ms for two to three seconds and then they're just going to get wrecked by the battleships anyway i hope this helped uh, my, my fit's not anything special either it's, it's actually a really bad fit it's one that I got off contracts just to demonstrate this. So it's got CCCs. I'm not running drone rigs whatsoever. I'm running for uh, faction DDAs. A Dread Garustas tracking enhancer for the tracking and the range. And then I'm running one tracking script and one optimal range script. And then just, you know, two rat specific hardeners. A capital shield extender. And one drone navigation computer. I think this is a, a pretty standard ratting Nidhogger. You, you might have CDFEs instead. Which is probably a better idea here. But otherwise it's pretty standard. I haven't put any spe special kind of fitting on my Nidhogger to be able to do this. This is, you know, pretty much, you know, the standard Nidhogger you'd see in Delve. I haven't tested Dread Spawns yet. I, I haven't got a Dread Spawn, unfortunately. In my testing, uh, typically I ended up getting two Escalations. One thing that's actually really weird is I got an Escalation in low sec from Nullsec. I've never actually seen that before, but I guess I don't really rat too much. Anyway, I hope this uh, video helped you know, keep your Tech 2 fighters alive. Definitely check out the changes on Sissy. They're definitely not as bad as people are saying on Reddit and on the EVE Online forums. Although I have not tested uh, Gas Havens yet. Oh, well, actually I have tested ga ha Gas Havens and I lost one fighter in them. And I found that Gas Havens were pretty inconsistent. But I, f I have not had a problem with Rock Haven so far. I don't normally do these running guides. Because other people tend to do them a lot better than me. But since this change is imminent, and I see a lot of doomsayers on Reddit, I thought I'd demonstrate that you can in fact run Rock Havens without losing Tech 2 fighters. And, you know, I was not the most efficient here, even though I was uh, doing this for purposes of a guide. You know, I, I fucked up at the start, I had the wrong structure selected. There was, you know, I missed a battle cruiser and a frigate in one of the waves, and you know, shit like that. But it, it's still possible. You just got to make sure you hit the orbit command religiously. Make sure your fighters are always moving. You want to make sure that, that you, they don't drop to zero mess and get fucked by battleships. Because that's how you lose the fighters. Anyway, I'm running for CSM too, so vote for me if you haven't already voted.